Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to the video on the RadioMaster TX16S firmware update and OpenTX companion install. Did you know that you're watching part four of a long series on the RadioMaster TX16S? Oh yeah, this is part four. So be sure to check out the description below so that you can see the titles to all the videos in this series. All right, so in video four, we are going to take a look at updating the firmware on this radio. Uh, firmware is a confusing word because there's actually two firmwares on the radio. There's, there's the firmware for OpenTX, and then there's the more commonly known firmware, which is basically the software that runs the hardware on the machine. We're going to update OpenTX so that you're running the latest and greatest. So the way we're going to do that is you're going to go to a website. Called open-tx.org and you are going to come down to here. And 2.3.9 is the latest. And if you look at mine, I'm already running the latest, but I'm still going to take you through all the steps just in case you're running anything less than 2.3.9. All right, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come up here to OpenTX 2.3.9. We're going to click on it. And it's going to open up a new window. And what we're going to want to do is come down, uh, pick your OS of choice. I'm running Windows, so I'm going with the first one. And it says, what do you want to do? I want to save the file. And then... I'm running Firefox, so my save stuff's going to happen up here. If you're running Chrome, it'll probably happen down there. And if you're running anything else, uh, I don't know where to tell you where it's going to open. But nonetheless, all right, so mine is going to appear in my downloads folder. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it and say yes. And I'm going to say that I agree. And I'm just going to kind of go through this menu. And voila. And let's go ahead and open it up and run it. So for those of you who have been following along with the series and you were unaware of the fact that the companion existed, oh, you are going to be so pleasantly surprised. The companion is going to the companion is going to make all that data entry that we did on the inputs and mixes so, so much easier because they're going to be able to do it on the computer. All right, so. This is the first time that we're ever opening up OpenTX on this machine. So it's telling us that we need to do a configure and let's go ahead and select OK. And profile name, call it the RadioMaster TX 16S and come down here. No more Tyrannus for me. Look at that. There it is right there. That's our baby right there. And we want English. In a later video, we're going to select some of these build options. We're actually going to um, we're going to select no heli and we're going to select Lua, uh, but we're not quite there yet. So let's just go ahead and continue on and uh, and keep this as simple as we can down here. Uh, now, I use mode two. That's the only thing I know how to use is mode two. But, you know, if you're in a different part of the world and you use mode one, make sure to select the one that is applicable to you. And then as far as this one is concerned, you're going to want to select the one that makes the most sense for you. Uh, if you're like me and you're using Betaflight, Betaflight sets everything up. Uh, Aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. So that's the one that I'm going to select. And we can check this box, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to say OK. If you ever need to get back to that menu, go to Settings, Settings. And you can actually also have different profiles. So if you've got an old FR Sky, you can actually add another profile for your FR Sky. You don't have to select just one radio. All right, so now it's time to download the firmware from Companion. So we want to go File, and we're going to go Download. And check this out. It says Open tx 16 s EN for English. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check for updates. And it says, do I want to download it now? I'm going to say yes. And there it is. I'm going to hit save. And I'm also going to download the SD contents. And what I want to do is I'm just going to go for the latest and greatest. So I'm going to select that button right there. Come over here to save. Select OK. And this is a rather big file if I remember correctly. All right, so now we've got the firmware and we've got the SD contents. 
So the next thing that I'm going to do is turn my radio on in bootloader mode. And I don't know whether that's actually the term or not, but um, that's what I'm going to call it. Take T4 and push towards the center. Take T1, push them both towards the center and simultaneously turn on your radio. All right. And this is the screen that you get right here. All right. So the next item on my list is to flip the radio up like so, get my USB and that is going to go in the top of the radio. And it's going to make the boop de boop noise and it's going to say USB connect on the screen. There it is. Now, in addition, two windows are going to pop up. So essentially this one right here, we're just going to go ahead and X out of this one right here. We can take a little closer look at if you notice, uh, your radio came with the SD card in it and it came with the basic contents of whatever firmware your radio shipped with. You can peruse these uh, at your leisure, but that's not really important to us right this second. Okay. So now that our radio is connected, the first thing that we're going to want to do is back up our models. That way, if anything goes wrong during the firmware update, we don't lose everything. So the first place I'm going to go is rewrite and I'm going to read models and settings from the radio. And there are our models. And then essentially what I want to do is I'm going to go, this is document one dot OTX. I'm going to say file. I'm going to say save, and I'm going to call this quad one video and hit save. So now we can move forward with our firmware update. We are going to go to read, write, and we're going to write the firmware to the radio. And it's asking us if this is what we want to do. And yes, that is what we want to do. 2.3.9. Uh, and I'm going to say write to TX and it's writing the firmware to the radio. Don't freak out if it says not responding. There you go. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit close. So now when we go back to our radio and we unplug the USB, yours should say current firmware 2.3.9. Okay. That's what yours should say. Don't, don't do anything with this right firmware. That's, that's something completely different. Now you'll still notice that the bootloader is still whatever the bootloader was that shipped with your unit. So we're going to fix that now. All right. And it's USB time again. Let's get plugged in like so. And let's go back to OpenTX. It's going to have these windows pop up. I'm going to get rid of this one altogether, but I'm not going to necessarily get rid of this one yet. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the place where I saved that firmware file. It's right here. And I'm actually going to shorten the name. I don't know whether this is still necessary, but this is kind of a, this, this was kind of necessary in, in olden times. I'm going to shorten the name to TX 16 S and go like that. And what I need to do is I need to take this file and drag and drop it into firmware like so. All right. So now when I go back to my radio and I unplug my USB, all right. So once again, we're at this screen and once again, we're just going to exit out. Welcome to open TX. Like so. Warning. Now that we dragged and dropped that file onto our SD card, we can go into system and we're going to go over one page. Uh, we want to go to the screen with the SD card on it and we're going to scroll down to firmware and we're going to click on it. And now we're going to look for the one that we just created right there and we're going to click it. And it says flash bootloader is our option. So yes, we're going to flash it. It's really as simple as that. If we go over to our version, you should see uh, the version 239. Uh, that was from the first thing that we did. And in order to see the second thing that we did, we're going to go ahead and power down. We're going to do the old push T1 and T4 together and hit power. And take a look. It says that the bootloader is in 239 and OpenTX is 239. So we have now updated the firmware and the bootloader. 
and we are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit exit, like so. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, one more piece of house cleaning that we have to do, and then it's going to get awesome. I promise. When we do our firmware update to 239, we also have to do an SD card update to 239. So we're going to go back to that SD card contents that we downloaded uh, from the website earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and extract it in the same folder. And this is going to take a while. All right, so when it's finished, it's going to uh, open up in a new window and we're going to grab all of them and we're grabbing it from our computer and we're putting it onto the SD card. Just drag and drop them. All right, I had to stop the film because it was taking so darn long, but anyhow, all of the stuff from that newly acquired file is now on our SD card and our SD card should be completely up to date and we are good to go. All right, so now that we've got all of the house cleaning out of the way, this is where it starts to get awesome. So if you remember before, we saved our models. So we're just going to go to File, Open, and we're going to grab the models from before. And there they are. Now, for those of you who have been following along, and doing all of that dreaded data entry in all those previous videos, and you've never seen this before, this is gonna blow you away. Check this out when I double click on quad. You see anything familiar? Check out all of these tabs. The tabs coincide perfectly with all of the pages in the model setup on the radio. So, for example, inputs, all our hard work is right there. Mixes, all of our hard work is right there. Special functions, all of our hard work is right there. And we can even play the thing. Up, oh, okay. All right, looks like I forgot to do something in the settings. If you click this and you get something stupid like that, and you're only seeing like four or five of them in here, then we need to tell it where this stuff is. So back to settings and go to settings, and I'm gonna say, I'm going to tell it where this is. Well, this is in the I folder. So I'm going to select that and say OK. And now I want to close this because I was expecting to see something different. And there it is. I got my model image. And now I know I'm looking at the contents of the SD card, which means when I go back to special functions, I'll have a drop down that has lots and lots and lots of options. And when I play the, uh, uh, when I play the sound, our motors disarmed angle mode horizon mode acro mode buzzer everything is there so from now on because we have so much data entry to do in the future videos we are going to be doing all of our data entry here and then we're going to go read write we're going to write the models and settings to the radio okay so pretty awesome stuff one thing that you want to do is make sure you go to file and save this all right i save mine as quad one and hit save that way you can come back to this we are going to get much much deeper into the tx companion in the next video because we are going to have to and speaking of the next video so for those of you who have ever tried to tune your pids you are going to want to watch the rest of the series. And for those of you who are interested in getting really, really advanced in some of these menus, you are going to want to watch the rest of this series. We are going to learn how to use logical switches and special functions so that we can set up switches on the TX16S so that we can tune our PIDs in flight using only three switches on the radio and we're going to have audio callouts so that we know exactly what we're doing when we're doing it. If that all sounds like smoke and mirrors, you got to watch the next few videos. If you're watching this video and you got some benefit out of it, please do me a favor and like, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can hit the little bell so that you can get notifications when, right when future videos come out. Don't forget that there are links to all the videos in the series in the description below so you can go back and rewatch or watch at your leisure. 
I really try hard to make my videos clear and concise so that you have one stop shopping. You don't have to go watching 16 different videos to learn how to do even the most mundane of tasks when it comes to building, flying, and programming our quads. So I'm Steve signing off till the next video. See ya.